Hey, what's going on, guys? XS Magnet Team Eternal. Um, I just got my Optimus G today, about maybe an hour ago. Um, it is completely stock. It's not rooted. It's not unlocked. It doesn't have my SIM card in it yet. That's how new it is. Um, so what I'm gonna do first is root it. Um, I'm gonna show you how to root this phone. Very easy. It's like two steps, and uh, and you're ready to go. I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader and install recovery after this, but not today. I'm kind of limited on time, so I'll do my next video. So what you want to do is you want to download the LG drivers. I will have all these links under this video, so if you want to click on them and download this stuff and get it ready, go ahead. I'm in a folder called LG Root My Desktop. Keep everything simple. There's the LG driver. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and click that and install it, and uh, then plug in. Uh, actually, go to your phone first. What you want to do is go to Settings. After you install your drivers or what vice versa, go to general, go to security, and you want to make sure unknown sources is checked. Okay. After that, you want to go down to developer options, and you want to make sure USB USB debugging is checked. Okay. Once that's done, you can plug in your phone. You can see a pop up: install new hardware. Make sure you install your drivers first. After that happens, you're going to see up here where you're going to say. Android Net Sooner Single ADB Interface. That's for your phone. After that's done, you're going to take the RAR file you downloaded, which the link is under the video for this. You're going to extract it with 7 zip, WinRAR, whatever you have. Go ahead and open that up. You're going to right click the bat file that's inside of here. And you're going to hit Run as Administrator. You're going to hit Y to continue and if you do not want to root your phone. Okay, so let's check in the settings. Okay, it says these files do not exist. What's up with that? Preparing to root. Okay, there it goes. You can hit restore my data. Restore starting. All right, the phone's rebooting. So basically, this is kind of like the um, if you have the one that HTC One XL from AT and T, and you had the uh, the two twenty firmware, which I think is the one dot one four H boot. Uh, it was kind of the same way. You restore your data, and what's in there is an exploit, and it lets you root your phone. So that's kind of like the same setup here. You're restoring your data, and it's giving you super user and a super user binary file. Uh, so once that's installed, you should be rooted. Okay, so that's done. It says, okay, so you go in here, go home. Let's see if super user is installed in here. So let's go to, what I want to do, go to here, and there's super SU. Let's go ahead and try to update it. Mm, no, thank you. Let's see here. Actually, let's try and see. I did add an account. I can't even do that. Um, this is 0 0.96. Let's see if we can go to Chrome. Let's go ahead and try to uh, download the updated super user. And install this. This phone is freaking fast. I love this thing. All right, here we go. We are going to download the zip file, which is a CMW flashable. I'm not going to flash this, but I'm just going to show you. You know what? You don't have to do this. I'm going to download it anyway because I want 0 0.99. I have to make an account on the phone to even open these files so there's never no point um, so I'll do the account let me say open the zip file up oh look I can so what you want to do is go ahead and click on that extract in let's see if it installs it ok install open continue success and there you go you update the binary file for it and everything we are rooted so now you can install Titanium Backup, whatever you want to do. I'm going to go ahead and play this phone. I'm going to install Google Now on this later today because I use it at work all the time. But like I said, I have videos for this soon. I'm going to make it ROMs. Um, 
AOSP Jelly Beans come in 4.2. That should be on the way really, really soon. Now I got the phone in my hand. Uh, we have the source ready to go. We just need the device. So uh, that's how you root your LG Optimus G for AT&T. Um, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share it, whatever you want to do. Subscribe to the channel. Um, we have a new channel coming soon. It's called Sofa King Android. Uh, <laughs> and that's going to be everything Android for all kinds of devices. Um, it's part of Team Nocturnal, but it's not going to be directly with us. We're going to have like a little separate community there for it. Um, so check that out soon. Uh, so this is Excess Matter of Team Nocturnal. Tidy Root your LG Thank you for watching.